Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ordering numbers. This is standard 6.2D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 20 of the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we've got six different wires here. These are the fractions, and we need to go from least to greatest. Well, here's the problem. We cannot compare and order these fractions the way they are. They have different denominators, and we really have two viable options here. So one, we could try to find the LCD, or that's the least common denominator. We could change all of these fractions to have the same denominator. If we can find something that's common between, what, 16, 2, 8, and 32, we're good to go. Another one is we can convert all of these into decimals. Now, converting fractions into decimals is pretty straightforward. You just divide up. And so you divide 16 into 7, or 32 into 9. I'm going to try this one right here, because I don't really feel like dividing 32 into 15. Uh, that would take a while, but it would work. You convert all of these into decimals, and you can get the job done. So let's see what we can do here with our fractions. So we have denominators of 2, let's see, 8, I'm trying to put them in order here, 16, and 32. So they are all even, so that means 2 can go into any of them. Let's see, the simplest way, guys, is to just start with the biggest fraction, the biggest denominator here, 32, and think, well, can you turn all of the other fractions into 30 seconds? Because if so, that's easy. So let's see, 16, let's see, 16, if I double 16, I get 32. So there we go. I'm writing multiples out, and 16 times 2 makes 32. 8 is going to be 8, 16, yeah, that's going to work then, 24, 32, so it's going to be 8 times 4. We've already done uh, 16 and 32 there, so I'm just going to say 2 times 16. I'm not going to list all the way out. So there we go. I'm just going to change all of these fractions into 30 seconds. Then I could put them in order from least to greatest. So how do we change fractions? How do we change to equivalent fractions? Well, let's start with 7 16 so let's do it right up here. When you're changing fractions and you want to make an equivalent fraction, you multiply it by something and you're always looking at what's your target denominator. In this case, remember, our target denominator is 32. So adding and subtracting fractions is difficult because you have to make sure the denominators are the same. Multiplying fractions is simple. Multiply straight across. 16 times what makes 32? We already figured that out. That's why we did all that work ahead of time. It's 2. Now, if your denominator is 2, your numerator is 2, because 2 over 2 is the same as 1. When you multiply anything by 1, it stays the same. So I'm just making it look a little bit different. That's all I'm doing. So my 7 16 is really 14 30 seconds. So I'm just going to kind of put that right above it. 14 30 seconds. going to do the same thing with my half. Remember, we're trying to get it to 30 seconds, and we figured out that it was 2 times 16. So if that's 16, that's 16. So 1 times 16 makes 16. And that makes sense because 16 is half of 32, and it needs to be equivalent to a half. So we got 14 and 16 so far. Let's do 8. Let's do 3. 8. 8 times what is going to make 32? 8 times 4. Remember, we did all that work right there. So 4 on the bottom, 4 on the top. 4 times 3 is 12. And there we go. That's 12. 30 seconds. We can leave that 9 just right where it is. All we, all we have left is that 5. Hmm. Let's put that right there. 5 sixteenths times something. It's going to get me 32. Let's see. If that's going to be 2. And that's 2, so that's 10. So there we go. That's 10 30 seconds. Make sure that looks like a 0. And I got 15. So least to greatest. Well, my least is going to be this 9 30 seconds. So let's make sure that's first. Get rid of those two. Let's see. Next is going to be 9. It's going to be 10 right there. But that really was a 5 16. So it's going to be that one. So it looks like it's J. Let's just double check. 9, 10, 12, which is really 3 8. So that's good. 9, 10, 12. And then we've got 14. So that's 7 16. And then that's Yep, that is our answer, guys. J.